Well, today is soup day. I'm making roasted squash and apple soup. And here I have cut up one medium butternut squash. And I measured it, it's about five cups of cubes. And here I have three large apples cut up. First thing, I'm going to add these to a bag. And the squash. And two tablespoons of oil. Shake that all up. Make sure oil gets over everywhere. And I have two trays here covered in foil, and I'm going to spread them out on the tray. For the garbage. I'm back. Just gonna spread these out. And I'm going to roast them at 400 degrees in the oven for about 20 minutes. The next step is to chop up one onion. My knives are not always the best. Probably need to sharpen them again. one onion chopped up. So the apples and the squash are finished roasting and now we're going to start making the rest of the soup. I've added one tablespoon margarine to the pot. You can do margarine, butter, vegan margarine, vegan butter. It does not matter which. And I've added my chopped onion and I'm just going to saute that. The onion is cooking. I did take the squash and apples off the pans and put it in a bowl. Uh, that's the last time I used foil. I never usually use foil, but I thought this time I would. But it was very hard to get off the foil. So I'll just keep putting it straight on the pan the way I usually do. I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt and pepper. And four cups of water. I don't have um, the 
vegetable broth or else I would have used that, but I do have the vegetable cubes, so I will add that. You can either add four cups of chicken stock or vegan chicken stock or four cups of vegetable broth or, like me, use the water in the vegetable cube. And I'm just going to bring that up to a simmer. Now it's at a simmer, I am going to add the squash and the apples. I'm going to let that totally heat up. Now the last step is to blend this. I have an immersion blender. Now if you don't have an immersion blender, which I didn't have for many years, and actually this is an old one of my friends, they bought a new one, you can just um, puree it a bit at a time in your blender and I'll do the same job. I don't do it so it's totally lump free. I like a little bit of texture to mine. And if you're worrying about calories or diet, this soup is only about 120 calories per cup and it's good. Okay, it's taste test time. Oh. That is going to be good for supper tonight. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it is time for supper. And I'm going to have my soup. Mm. And with it, I have a corn millet muffin. And that will be on an upcoming video. Very good. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and this video. If you make this recipe, leave a comment. Tell me if you liked it. Um, subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified of upcoming videos. Um, give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends. And I'll see you next time. Mm. So tasty.